Volvo Trucks have produced this short video to show you how best to manage the diesel particulate filter, or DPF, on the Volvo FL and FE range. Since the inception of Euro 1 in 1993 to limit harmful emissions from commercial vehicles, there have been some serious improvements. Volvo Trucks over the years have led the field regarding the introduction of new technologies to meet with stringent legislation year after year. Reducing particulate matter, or soot, and oxides of nitrogen, or NOx, by a massive 93%. So now, at Euro 6, this technology to maintain our health is one which on the Volvo FL and FE range may sometimes require just a small input from you, our driver. In order to meet these strict emission requirements, a combination of selective catalytic reduction, SCR, along with a diesel particulate filter, or DPF, is required. The DPF simply removes the soot emitted from the engine, and the soot trapped in the filter will then be burned off. And this burning of the soot is known as regeneration. There are two ways to burn off this soot. Automatic. This uses the inherent engine heat, and sometimes uses a little fuel to raise the temperature, and no driver input is required and manual, where the journey does not allow the vehicle to regenerate automatically and is mainly applicable to urban or multi-drop operations and driver input is required. The DPF switch, using industry standard symbols, has three functions. Running, off and initiate. When in the running position, the system will look after the soot levels automatically, dependent on your operation. Off inhibits automatic regeneration, for example, when working in enclosed spaces and effectively during multi-drop operations where a regeneration could start but is interrupted by a key-off. And initiate starts a manual or parked regeneration. A manual regeneration requires that you press and hold the DPF switch down for two seconds and then you may need to allow between 45 and 60 minutes to complete the regeneration successfully. When carrying out a manual regeneration, this should be recorded as other work. For your convenience, we've included a gauge to keep you informed in real time regarding the condition of the DPF. The green area shows the system is managing itself nicely. If the needle enters the white area, then it is advisable to park up at your next opportunity and carry out a manual regeneration. And if the needle enters the amber area, then the engine will reduce in performance and so you must carry out a manual regeneration as soon as it is safe to do so. The red, well, you don't want to go there. You'll need to seek immediate assistance from your Volvo dealer, where it is no longer possible to initiate a manual or parked regeneration using the dashboard-mounted switch. You may also at times notice the high exhaust system temperature, or HEST, warning becoming active. The HEST warning is an indication that the engine after treatment system has increased in temperature and so caution is required when parking up. When carrying out a manual regeneration, you must prepare the vehicle to ensure this process can be carried out safely. The vehicle is parked in an outside area, checking for other road users, animals or combustible materials within a minimum 2 meter clear space around the engine after treatment system. The park brake is applied. The engine is running at idle speed, and the engine is at running temperature, so it's ideal to carry out the manual regeneration at end of shift when the engine is warm. Once you've prepared the vehicle, you need to use the DPF switch to start the process. The revs will increase and the HEST warning will appear. And once the cycle is complete, the HEST warning will extinguish, the revs will drop back down to idle and the gauge will reset. As mentioned, turning off the system in short-run situations will benefit your day. For example, the switch should be off during multi-drop operations with a distance between deliveries of less than 5 kilometers. And remember, on the home run, turn back on the system. But where you are on a more regional or long-distance operation, where the distance between deliveries is around 50 kilometers or more, ensure the system is in the running position. Understanding the system to fit within your operation is key, allowing maximum regeneration on the move with minimum time spent on a manual regeneration when back at base. Regeneration is necessary with all new vehicles, and as you have seen, it's a very straightforward process. 
So all we ask is that sometimes you may be requested to do your bit to help maintain our environment. Thank you for your time.